What is happening, Caro boys and girls? This is your boy Caro boy with another Pokemon TCG video, another 100 days of Christmas with Caro boy. And listen, all you know, I posted a video recently. It, it, it getting a little rough. I real behind. This is the most behind in the 100 day challenge that I have ever been. But we moving forward, no matter what we moving forward all i seen some changes are wrong some things happening I, I, I trying out a little thing here we have to make some um some 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 temporary adjustments but um we pushing forward what we want to chat about today well the latest set silver tempest drop it released it launched i missed some days we missed the day <laughs> but it it came out it legal already the Lugia V, surprisingly, I mean, it was a big debate how this Lugia V was going to change up the meta, if at all, and it doing things. It do, now, when a set drop, uh, a big card, a chase, especially like Lugia, uh, people, you would expect people to, to, to run and, and play it, try it, have fun with it. So, there's a high concentration of Lugia decks around, but... Who knows? We will see as the meta continues, we will know what's going on. But what I want to bring with you, as you know, with the launch and release of every set, every main set for the most part, I like to let you know, the Carib Nation, the Carib Girls and Boys, my topics, my personal topics of cards I want to play and cards I want to collect. Alright? And what I want to tell all you about today is the top 10 playable cards for Carib Boy in Silver Tempest. So getting in right into it, Carib girls and boys, Carib Nation. Number 10, I want Professor Burnett. Yes, Professor Burnett ditching those cards to this discard pile. It have a few decks that I trying to play that I'm considering using it in uh, in those decks, uh, and I will call an example, the Reggie Drago Vista that you need some um, fodder in the discard pile to use the, the various attacks, as well as Mewtwo V Union. I think Professor Burnett could come in handy in those types of decks, alright? Coming in, in number 9 for my playable cards is the Radiant Jirachi. Now that's a fun it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a fun little gimmick and I've seen people talking, popular YouTubers talking about uh, using the Radiant Jirachi. Um, it, it, it is an interesting card. Uh, when it knock out, you're going, to, you're going to search it for any three cards. That in your active, your opponent going to study whether or not they want to do that. Interesting card. I am curious to see how it would function in a deck. Coming in, in number 8, V-Guard Energy new special energy pumping it going in a set of decks lugia vista of course of course it running in there i want to get my set my i want to get my hands on a play set of that of course and it going in in a number of decks that i want to build that i have so v guard energy earlier getting that number seven we have chestnut v I find it very interesting, the, the gimmick where if you attack it, it, it dealing damage to your opponent Pokemon that, that, that does the attacking and having multiple on the field increases that damage. It reminds me of the Phalanx and the Phalanx V deck that I real try hard to build that I couldn't finish. I was missing one Phalanx V because it was an old card by the time there. So the Chestnut V bring back that feeling, a nice a uh, cheeky fun deck to try out i don't mind getting a play set and trying that deck out chestnut v coming in at number six <laughs> oh yeah my boy the good boy arcanine v finally oh my goodness it have no uh, thinking about trying it. Uh, uh, it it looking like fun i want to build an arcanine v deck and have that and Take it to a tournament and see how far my good boy could carry me. It is no question. All I know that. All I know this. Arcanine V. I want to try out that deck. Coming in at number 5. This might sound like a surprise to y'all. But before all the meta changes and the meta facts came out. And what deck doing good. 
I wasn't very too interested. So I don't want to come on here and be a bandwagonist and, you know, yeah, boy, I want, I want to play that Lugia V, number five. Lugia V star deck, the whole deck, right? It's, so it's not, just, it's not just one card. The Lugia V star whole mechanic. Of course, I need the Archeops to, to, to fall in there with it. All right. So the Lugia V star, the deck itself, very interesting. It's doing well as a competitive player. Who wouldn't want to have a top performing deck? Of course. But I'm being honest in saying that my initial... Uh, uh, my initial reaction and prediction for it, it wasn't so hot up so I'm not going to come and say no yeah number one no number five that way it was so I've given all the truth Lugia Vista number four another deck a whole deck now this was my pick that I was trying to predict was going to come out and mash up the place it did not it's not really showing results but I still want to try it out and that is the Reggie Drago Vista deck you know where you Pelton Dragons in the discard pile and your Reggie Drago could choose any of those attacks there's a lot of it's like a dragon toolbox kind of vibes I want to try that out I like the concept reminds me of Mewtree yeah Reggie Drago Vista deck number four Coming in at number three is a potential staple already replacing um, some numbers of a, of a, of a, of a long-standing staple in boss's orders, and that is the Serena. The Serena gives you the, the, the mechanic of the boss's order to gust up a card, but it is limited to only V Pokemon. But aside from that, it also gives you the option to go in your deck. So imagine one card giving you two pathways to do what you want. Of course, the boss's orders numbers you're seeing in the deck list, the boss's orders numbers going down. It's not eliminating it, it's not replacing it, but the boss's orders going down to make way for Serena. You want a Serena in all your deck. You get a playset of Serena, you don't know how this thing might evolve. Get Serena. Serena is my number three. Number one and number two, they're very similar. They're very similar. And looking at these two cards in the whole Silver Tempest set, my initial reaction was these are the most two interesting playing cards to me and that is the two tablet the two tablet but i'll give you the order number two the earth and seal stone uh you you, you it's an attack using three energies a v-star power of course so you're using your your v-star power for the turn and that and it it damages all your opponent pokemon bringing all of their hp to 100 that claimed the way for many decks and an old school bad boy of mine in the urshifu v max so you know what your boy thinking about doing with the with the earthen seal stone and the forest seal stone number one in my playing cards for silver tempest that is the card that is give you a half um a half arceus v style you search your deck for one card and you know i've been trying to finish this Mew V Max deck, and of course that Seal Stone going in that V Max deck, that Mew V Max to try out. All right, and there you have it, Carib Nation, Carib Girls and Boys. That is my top ten playable cards for Silver Tempest. A very interesting set. Kinda, I want to say lackluster because I don't know. I'm not flipping and running it down. I mean, finances have a part to play in that, of course. But very interesting things to play in there. So. Tell me, what do you want to play from Silver Tempest? Is there anything you want to build? Is there cards that you want that you want that you think is will be um, that that you think will be staple that you need from Silver Tempest? Tell me in the comments. All you know what to do: beat up that like button, bust a subscription. This is your boy Caraboy. Out again.